The Solus Ergo 3 smart glasses are a ChatGPT enabled pair of glasses. It enables us to interact with ChatGPT. It also enables us to have translation, app control, configuration, even posture support. So there's a lot of functions built in to a pair of glasses that look very normal. I normally wear glasses on a daily basis and I was very happy to get my prescription transferred to the Ergo 3. And that makes them one of my favorite smart glasses to date. This is TK and these are the Ergo 3 from Solus, ChatGPT and translation enabled smart glasses. Like and subscribe and make sure you hit that bell icon so that you're always notified whenever we have new videos on the channel. So this is the actual package. Uh, now, one thing to mention is there's a lot of different designs or different options as far as what you're able to get for the glass configuration. The design I went with, we'll get a chance to check that out in a second, but these are the Ergo 3. It is Solos Chat. So basically, Solos is the company. Chat is what they're using to interface with ChatGPT smart glasses. And of course, when you get the ability here, a touch control, as you can see here, they're illustrated right there on the side. Very much easy to open up. There's a pull tab on the side. Not much here on the side other than a picture. Again, Ergo Smart Glasses and a small information here saying uh, basically the information with the barcode. They do include the user manual and of course a walkthrough setup process. Very easy and very simple. They have a very nice and very slim design case that opens up and you're able to basically prop into it. The very nice, very nice soft material, of course, inside. And that becomes our carrying case for our glasses. And whenever we're not using them, you can fold it in and put it back into your pocket and it actually fits very, very nicely, very thin, very very ergonomic design. I like that very much. They include a nice little chamois or at least a cleaning cloth for it with the name Solos built into it, of course. A charger that has a magnetic pin connector on the side with a USB-A connector on the other side to be able to charge up our glasses. Now, the glasses themselves are basically comprised of two pieces or technically three pieces. The arms themselves, if you just wiggle them a little bit, they actually are separating. Uh, you're able to remove them and buy a different frame directly from the company. But once you're using them, you just basically put them together. They snap on and they're pretty straightforward. Uh, the bands or the arms on the side are a little bit thicker. That's obviously where the processing power is little, sitting in there with the battery as well as the touch sensitive area. But they're not that much bigger than standard glasses. I probably will say that these, for the most part, are one of the most low profile smart glasses you're able to get. You have access to the name here on the left side. There's no touch configuration on the right side, you'll notice what we saw in the picture, there's that little bit of a groove here. So that's going to be the volume rocker up and down and the touch control to be able to initiate commands. The rest of it, as far as the actual frame, if you're starting and stopping music, you just tap the, uh, the glasses anywhere and it actually registers the movement as a touch to stop, a touch to start. And of course, other than that, we have built-in speakers. Let's go ahead and focus on there. There's two directional speakers that are positioned directly into our ears. So they're open ear design, as well as obviously the microphones to be able to pick up our voice. It does support whisper mode to provide us more of a personalized, uh, I guess, low volume experience so that uh, nearby people can't hear the messages. And it will push out notifications to you from the phone. Charging them, very straightforward. Align the magnets and the magnet actually connect on the side of it and the two prong connector will connect. Once you have them in there, it's pretty much a straightforward experience. Unfortunately, they're not strong enough to hold the glasses. So my recommendation is make sure you have them on a, on a nice little uh, soft area. Otherwise, just have them in an area where you're able to basically make sure that this is not going to disconnect. It is rated to last up to 10 hours. And I will say that the battery life on these have been absolutely fantastic. It does charge a little bit slower, but overall, as long as you have them fully charged, you're set for the rest of the day. You wear them when you need them, they're ready to go. And when you don't need them, they just work like regular glasses. I did have my prescription installed in here. The company was nice enough to be able to do that for me. And that's something to keep in mind. Since I do wear glasses, these work perfect. To set it up, you do need to download the application. So there is the Solus application. You download directly from the Google Play Store, set it up and configure it. There's a process to go through where it actually customizes the experience to you. I've already customized my account. As you can notice there, I went with my Captain Kitty there. And last but not least, there's four options to be able to use it from the configuration as far as translation and of course, solo chat or essentially chat GPT. Now, once you connect them, you'll notice that there's a little bit of an indicator here at the top. I'll let that focus back again. And it tells you basically that I have about 50% battery. I had them fully charged yesterday morning and I used them all day. And again, it's still running pretty well. So as far as what we get here, there's three different sections. There's the coach, there's my glasses and the solo chat. My glasses takes you in there. Of course, there's the hearing assistant, touch control configuration, battery level, dual host. If you want to connect it to multiple uh, devices, it does support that sound configuration as well as posture calibration. We do have the ability of turning on the different reminders. There's whisper events, whisper messages. So in case I get a text message, it will notify me directly in there and water, uh, basically hydration reminders. So there's a little bit more of a smart life configuration. Battery life right now is about 51% and it is a version in here. And if you do want to check the firmware, you're able to click that. One little tip though, if you are connected 
connect it to any of the solo chat applications in the middle section here. Unfortunately, firmware update will not work. So you do need to configure that in there. Other than that, you have the ability, again, going through those quick control toggles. Those are the ones that we had at the bottom once you turn them on. There's a setup section here. You can set up your account. You can connect them, obviously, to Strava if you want to be able to do that. The solo smart glasses are connected. The version software, you can configure the basically information from metric to you, uh, to Imperial. And of course, the Solus Lab for any new uh, options in there. Warranty, feedback, smart glass quick guide, um, apps quick start, video tutorial, FAQ, everything that you would need to be able to configure it. And then, of course, start using them. Let's go ahead and jump in. And now that we've configured it, let's jump into this feature because I feel like this is where everything kind of becomes smart uh, or a little bit smarter than the average with the coaching and everything else in there. We do have the ability of selecting one of four options. So there is solo messages, the ability of sending and receiving messages, even text messages and emails. Solo chat is the interface with ChatGPT and solo translate. I'm going to be very honest with you guys. For the most part, I've stuck with solo chat and solo translate because those are the two that work the best for me. Solo messages, it depends on how the configuration has been running on your device. For me, it worked to a certain point, meaning it generated the message that I wanted it to do, but it wasn't jumping from this application to the other to be able to configure it and fo uh, follow through, even though I configured it into Gmail. So be aware of what's going on and your experience may be a little bit different than mine. But let's go ahead and go with the solo chat. And one thing I want to mention real quick here is this is interfacing with ChatGPT. You do need to turn the app itself on, meaning there is no reason for it to run all the time. You can keep it on and go. And then you'll notice right there, it actually keeps an aggregate history of what you're talking. And there's two ways of interacting with it. Now, one, you do need to basically either push the button here and say, tell me what the distance between Los Angeles and New York is. This is the approximate distance if you were to drive from Los Angeles to New York on a direct route. Now, as you heard there, it actually does play this message. And the really nice thing about that, we actually don't need the device to be on for this to work. Once you turn this application on and we shut off the phone or at least the display on the phone, I'm actually now able to interact with ChatGPT on the go. The big thing about this is the button that was on the display there is now that little button that I showed you guys on the side. And for me to be interacting with it, I'll ask the exact same question one more time. What's the distance between Los Angeles and New York? Approximate straight line distance as the crow flies between Los Angeles, California, and New York City. New York is around two, 450 miles or three, 940 kilometers. This distance is based on a straight line or as the crow flies measurement. Now, as you heard it there, it actually does answer and it's reading off the message directly off the device. And what I like about it is anything that you can ask ChatGPT, this will be able to give you. Meaning I can actually ask it to give me recommendations for restaurants based on what the information is available there. I can ask it for it to give me a, maybe a title recommendations for YouTube videos or anything that you typically would use ChatGPT, this works with it. It does require a subscription. That's one thing I forgot to mention at the beginning part. It is is something that you need to keep in mind that out of the box you do get three months free service to be able to try out the glasses and if you decide to continue using some of the smart functionalities there is a small subscription that you need to pay but once you have that configured and everything is set up correctly it works and it just works the way you want it you can listen to music with it you can make phone calls the microphones are actually very very nice and one of the other options that i liked about them is that they worked just seamlessly with the device as regular glasses they look very much like regular glasses again i wish I they had maybe more of a frameless uh, option at the bottom, but I do understand that the frame actually works as a, uh, I would probably say an interface to what you're able to do with the device. Again, as I mentioned, you're able to touch and hold here to initiate it. I'm also able to change the volume here and of course interact directly with them. If you don't press and hold and you release, obviously that's not going to work. So it's one of those things where you need to keep holding as long as you're talking and release for it to do the, uh, basically the query search for you. So what we have right now is Jumbo by NCS release sitting on my phone, ready to go. So again, just to be able to start music, I'm just going to tap my glasses, start. And the really nice thing about them is that you're actually able to touch the interface on the entire glasses because they're sensitive in the actual motion into them. You're able to tap. 
and then shut them off that way. So it makes it simple to work with both sides. But just keep in mind that the volume rocker on the side controls the actual volume on your phone. They're not basically separated from each other, so you're not able to push it up. But they definitely can get pretty loud depending on the environment that you're in. And if you want them to go super nice, you can go into the whisper mode and save yourself some decibels and of course a little bit more privacy. Let's go ahead and do a quick sample of the audio from the microphones. Now we're using the microphones that are built in directly into the Solos Ergo 3. I connected them to the Video Pro app on my S24 Ultra. And what it enables us to do is actually use Bluetooth audio. So meaning the audio that you're listening to right now is directly from the microphones built into the glasses. And this should be a pretty good example of if you're sitting in a nice quiet environment and you want to be able to get on a call, they're going to be able to hear you. And conversely, I'll say very honestly, I've used them outside as well. They do a pretty decent job of picking up our audio. Even though they're not directly near our mouth, it actually does pick up. Uh, as long as you're not whispering, I'll probably say that it should work perfectly fine. But if you're speaking on a lower tone, it may get a little bit harder. Again, they do need uh, volume to be able to initiate the pickup. So speakers are sitting up there as well as the microphones, and they just work really, really nicely. I hope you guys like this sample. But let's do quickly uh, the functionality where it becomes a little bit more functional here. I'm going to do translate. You just go in there and change it into the listen mode to solo translate. And then at that point, you'll notice that there is a translation here sitting in with languages. And what I really like about this is it actually supports Cantonese, which is a language that I've always found very hard to find translators to work with. They typically go mostly with Mandarin, which is not a problem. I'm just Mand Mandarin and Cantonese are very different. Cantonese is a little bit more complicated, and it is always hard for me to find any translators that support it. So so let's go ahead and do a quick translation in here and I'm actually going to go ahead and just play a little bit of that for you guys to be able to hear it. Good morning. How are you today? Can you tell me where is the nearest Japanese restaurant? Now, obviously, what this is doing is allowing me to understand somebody from the other side. Now, I'm playing in English and for me, for you guys to hear me, but this also supports many, many languages. We're talking Arabic, Cantonese, Czech, Dutch, English, of course, Filipino, French, German, Greek, Hindi, uh, Indonesian, Italian, Japanese, Korean, Mandarin. Again, as I mentioned to you guys, it does support both languages. Uh, Polish, of course, Portuguese, you have Pontagua, Russian, Spanish, and of course, Swedish, Thai, Turkish, a lot of languages, Ukrainian, Vietnamese, all of these are built in here. So what I would probably say is this, if I switch over to Arabic, since I do speak Arabic and I want to translate to, this is going to be a really fun one. So let's go ahead and find it into English. Where is it? Right here. So I'll go ahead and put it in at this point. Now it's going to go back, switch over, turn off the application, turn itself back on. And of course, again, it keeps the history. It doesn't get rid of it. So in case you do want to, you actually are able to remove it. But at this point, now I'm actually going to go ahead and ask it to translate from Arabic to English. Sabahul khair. Kaifa haluk? Good morning. How are you? Hal taktar takula li aina huwa al-matam al-yabani? Can you tell me where the Japanese restaurant is located? The functionalities within translation go way beyond what we need. Obviously, this works much better if I have uh, the ability of actually having somebody else with the same glasses. But if I'm, let's say, in Hong Kong, let's say I'm in the Middle East or somewhere where I don't speak the language, I'm now actually able to understand. But not only that, using the phone's app, I'm also able to show the other person the translation of what I'm trying to say, meaning I can actually reverse the language, speak in English, translate the text, and have them read it off the smartphone if they can't hear the glasses, of course. So the functions that we get in here are very nice, very seamless, and they fit into our ecosystem. And I think that's what makes these glasses work better for me. They look like regular glasses. And for the most part, if I don't turn them on, because you are able to turn them on if I turn them back on, uh, they work like regular glasses. I'm actually able to use them normally. Again, my prescription is built into this, which makes this very nice. Now, the one thing I will say, again, it is a subscription-based type of a solution, so it's not going to basically be just like this for everybody the whole time. If you like the functionalities, if you like what it's offering you, I feel like the subscription is well worth it. If you travel a lot and you need translation on the go, specifically the languages, again, like Cantonese is a tough language to find. Mandarin is a lot more common whenever you find translation apps out there, but Cantonese, it's hard. And I have tested it out and I've spoken to some Cantonese speakers and of course they confirmed that the translation is actually accurate on there. 
It picked up my Arabic translation. It works with French, Portuguese, Czech, Korean, a lot of languages built in. And again, they work just as good as you saw there. There's a little bit of a delay and it does require internet connectivity. That's another thing. None of this actually is running on device. It doesn't require to be connected to the internet. So your speed of responses may be also kind of uh, depending on the internet connection that you have. If it's a fast connection, you'll get them faster. If it's a little bit slower, just be a little bit patient there. Um, now, as far as the things that I kind of a little bit uh, new features that hopefully I'll be able to see in the near future, I hope that at some point we have the ability of switching between chat GPT and translation without having to turn on the device and switching apps. Uh, the other option as well is where in the in the translation function, it does have group mode. If you know somebody else that does have glasses and it will work directly between the two, you create a group and you allow the other person to join you. So there's a lot of smart functionalities built into these. They're small, they're light, they work. And what I like about them is that they last all day. The battery life has always been one of the biggest Achilles heels for any kind of smart tech that we talk about on a daily basis. If these can last with you uh, an entire day, just as long as your smartphone even longer, they become much more easily integrated into our system or into our lifestyle. So I hope that you guys like the Ergo 3 or at least the Ergo 3s from Solos here, the way they're configured. There's a lot more designs available on the website. I'm sure you guys some clips from there. But at the end of the day, they are smart glasses that enable us to interact with smart AI tools as well as smart translation options that work very, very well and very seamless. You heard the speakers. They sound great. Music sounds great. And the microphones sound great as well. Like and subscribe as usual. Thank you very much for the support. I'll see you in the next video.